Well, good evening, YouTubers, friends, and family across the world. This is Mike with Morning Dew, Daily Events Worldwide. We are on February 6th, 2018. Thank you for joining me today. God bless you all. We are all survivors on this very shaken planet right now as we're looking at these large earthquakes in Japan, or sorry, Taiwan. This is the last 24 hours for earthquakes, most recent being a 4.8 here it, this is all in the same area the last 24 hours reports are coming out already two dead earlier this morning I mean this earth the large earthquake the 6.4 earthquake arrived at about 2 a.m. their time large 6.4 so everybody was sleeping in Taiwan well the ground underneath was just a shaken. And in the previous video today, I showed you exactly where it was. I do not have that map available right now, but this is the last 24 hours for earthquakes around the world. Four point four today sent a small tsunami. Cascadia. Large 5.6 in the Tonga region, 4.7 as well. That 5.6 was at a 246 kilometer depth. I want to let you guys know that tonight I will be going live for about an hour. Uh, please join me as we'll be talking about. Uh, weather and amongst other things the changes with my channel morning dew and uh yeah just to uh talk with everybody all my subscribers i've been off live streams for three months after youtube grounded me <laughs> but uh please join me tonight at about nine o'clock p.m eastern time i will try to be home by then so please join me if you are able to if not then you can see me on the next live stream and I will be doing again on when, every Wednesday, just like when I first started my channel. Every Wednesday I was doing a live stream called Weird Weather Wednesday with Morning Dew. And that will continue every Wednesday starting not this week, but next week. As I am heading back to Calgary. So this is the last 24 hours for earthquakes. And of course... We're going to be looking at weather. And here we are with our five day forecast brought to you by Meteor Earth and Mike with Morning Dew. This is an app that everybody can get. And yeah, gives you a pretty good five day forecast. So this week, we're going to be looking at a couple snowstorms in Ontario, one overnight tonight and into tomorrow, and then another one. On, uh, on the weekend coming up here. Could be a pretty sizable amount too. And then one right after another, these storms will be heading to Ontario, bringing a lot of snow and mixed precipitation towards the end of the week. High pressure polar vortex, still dominant North America. Uh, not to mention we've got extreme cold temperatures in South Korea. And a significant snowfall event in Japan, Tokyo, Japan. Oh, sorry, not Tokyo, but uh, the northwestern coast of Japan. Pretty sizable accumulation of snow there, shutting down a lot of services. Other notable systems around the world, Tropical Cyclone Kabil, still hanging about. A lot of rain, Africa, you can see that very large low pressure developing here, hanging out for the next five days. So they will be dealing with some flooding conditions.
and overlooking Europe. The next five days is going to be very cold. Uh, but towards the end of the week, it's going to get pretty nasty with a lot of winds accompanying this large low pressure system towards the United Kingdom. parts of Europe. Cold temps still dipping down in Iran, in India. And also just watching this large low pressure center right here. That's been hanging about for the last three days, and it looks like it's still going to be organized and heading west. So there could be quite a sizable tropical cyclone heading towards New Zealand later in the week, in about eight days, actually. This is our five day forecast and our biggest report snowstorms in Ontario and then a long stream of snow for Alberta and the BC interior and then watching these low pressure systems off the Pacific uh, join and spin and hammer the Alaskan Peninsula as soon as this high pressure ridge moves out it allows this large low pressure center here to move in again. So we'll be looking for an uptick in seismicity in this area as there's a lot of snow accumulated with this storm. You can see here atmospheric rivers still showing up across the world every so often. This is new for meteorologists around the world. Definitely going through some changing times here as we approach the climactic events of a grand solar minimum as it ex as it excels the extreme weather and propels large low pressure systems and high pressure systems following new jet streams from around the world So that's your five day forecast. I wanna thank you for watching today. This has been Mike with Morning Dew. And please join me tonight for the live stream as I will be on. Come say hi and see what Mike from Morning Dew is all about. As, yeah, pretty much I'm just gonna open myself up and uh, talk to everybody and uh, see what kind of conversations we can get into. So thanks for watching today. Stay young and have fun and get your morning due. Bye-bye.